What's up everyone? It's me, Sanitary103. Thanks for watching. So today's video, I want to talk about juice cleanses. Now, I don't know when juice cleanses got popular, but I have a feeling, and I think the first time I saw them, maybe it was on an infomercial late night when I used to party a little bit more with my buddies and I was flipping the channels. I remember seeing a couple of uh, products on cleanses. But Hollywood loves, a lot of Hollywood people like to do juice cleanses, and I'm not against all Hollywood diets. I mean, I don't follow them that often, but a lot of times they're just fad diets and they are ones that are kind of kind of like a crash, crash dieting because they want to fit into a certain dress on the red carpet by X amount of days, but I digress. So anyways, uh, my thoughts on juice cleanses. Um, I'll be straight up honest with you. I've never really, not really, I haven't done a juice cleanse and the first thing you might be saying before you click off, the, click off this video, is well what the heck do you know about juice cleanses well the one thing i do know that is that your, your body uh if you let's say if you eat really bad and you're not physically active um, obviously your body is your temple and by not taking care of your body for all these years you're basically abusing your body and you need to start somewhere by eating right eating right and uh, eating healthy and working out and it, Without having to cleanse, as you start to embark on your fitness journey and as you begin to work out, you start sweating more, you get rid of all the bad toxins, you get rid of that gunk, the fat, the fat's slowly, you don't see it, but underneath that adipose tissue is slowly disappearing, it's melting away as you start losing weight, as you start gaining a little bit more muscle, as you start losing fat, the adipose like I mentioned. Um, as you gain more confidence, uh, as you start creating those micro tears as you're lifting weights and developing more muscle. And this is not even including just what's going on inside, inside of your body in terms of your digestive uh, system. Your body will naturally start to detox itself and cleanse itself without having to do an extreme juice cleanse. Now, I'm not 100% against the juice cleanse because I don't really do them, but I do know that you don't have to go through that extreme to quote cleanse your body. Trust me, I've um, like not to go off too much on a tangent, but just a real quick personal uh, example because I think it's more relatable. Um, after high school, when I graduated, um, I was in probably the most best shape of my life possibly because of my wrestling background. But after that, the next four years, I would say it was one of my most unhealthy times. I, was, uh, I wasn't like on the verge of going to the hospital or anything, but I was smoking every day. I wasn't drinking every day, but I was drinking here and there, and I wasn't eating the best, and I was eating a lot of fried foods and stuff like that. You know, just being in the dorms and you know being in college. So anyway, fast forward, what I'm basically trying to say is, after that occurred, after I graduated my undergrad, um, I started to do a little bit more running, got a little bit more active, and it hurt a lot, but what did I do? I started eating right, and I, my body naturally started cleansing itself, and my digestion got better. You know, I used to get a lot of some heartburn when I used to eat bad. That would, that would uh, begin to go away and uh, dissipate, and that's just your body's way of telling you that it's slowly cleansing itself out. So if you want to do the juice cleanse, you know, I'm not going to lose sleep over it, but I just feel like a lot of times these types of cleanses or diets are just a headline for you to, to you know, jump on because it's, it sounds cool. It's the next trendy thing. And health and fitness, honestly, they're going to be so, even as I, as in, excuse me, even as you watch this video, and I don't know, maybe this video will eventually get old and you might, you know, stumble upon this video years after I make this video. But anyways, there's always going to be fitness trends. There's always going to be the next sexy workout. There's always going to be this and that. But just know that the meat and potatoes of health and fitness, and I say it all the time, is uh, consistency, um, being realistic with your goals, uh, having a fairly clean diet, 
something that's not too extreme, that's reasonable, that makes sense to you, and something that you can sustain for a lifetime, not for a couple of days as a lifestyle change. And finding something with that balance along with being able to enjoy some fun foods, a little bit of flexible dieting here and there, just living an overall healthy lifestyle from A to Z, um, to me is the uh, best approach as opposed to just following the next trend because it may work for a little bit, but is it gonna, are you gonna be able to maintain it for a lifestyle? And not to sound cocky or anything, but I speak from experience, you know, um, I've done health and fitness for many, many years and I've read about all the fat diets, I've seen them all, heard them all, some are good, some are not, I don't know everything, I'm continuing, continuing to learn as I uh, get older in age, but I do know that what I just mentioned with the consistency and the diet and the hard work and the dedication and getting it right up here, that is what's going to make the biggest difference. So uh, that's my time. Uh, sorry, I didn't want to go and ramble too much about that. Uh, so the cleanses, juice cleanses are not necessary. If you get back on track quickly, your body will naturally start to get rid of what it needs to and start, and you want to start filling yourself up with the good stuff the fresh fruits and vegetables, the less processed foods, and uh, you'll be on your way. That's my time. Talk to you later. Bye.